about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I want to do a Monday night kind of routine that I do just to get myself set up for the next day, go through all the kids work to make sure I'm set up for the week. I'm also going to be doing a really delicious, really quick one skillet dinner idea and so much more. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lauren. I am a full-time executive in the wine industry with four kids and a busy household and I love sharing cooking, cleaning, decorating, and homemaking motivation. So definitely stick around and hit the subscribe button if that's something that's of interest to you and if you're returning it's so good to see you okay guys let's jump into this night So before we get started, I wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and also being such an incredible platform. I've been on Squarespace for over five years now and it has hosted all of my recipes and all the decorating ideas and my printables that you guys get here on my channel. I'm not a huge writer, but Squarespace gives me the ability to post all the pictures of my recipes, host really unique codes where I can use printables. If you guys have been on my channel for a while, it took me forever to figure out how to do printable recipes, but thanks to Squarespace, I'm able to do that because of all the really easy features that they have here. If you are looking to start a blog this year, I highly recommend going over to Squarespace. I will put a link down below. They are offering all of my viewers 10% off their first purchase of a website or domain name using Lauren Nicholson. Okay guys, let's jump into this video. Okay guys, so tonight I wanna try a new recipe. I was actually just on my website here. And I was looking at some different things. I haven't done salmon in a while. So I was thinking about doing like a nice salmon dish. Okay, I did the garlic honey glazed salmon. Okay, that's delicious. Okay, so let me just scroll down. Let's see if I can find this other. Oh, that's a really good dish too. Ooh, this crunchy salmon with creamy basil. I wanna make a dish like this, so I think what I'm gonna do is take some of the things from this dish and make it not creamy. I'm looking for something not super thick. Um, this is really good though. So we're gonna do like the nice crunchy salmon, and I'm gonna still use the basil and the um, spinach that I use in this, but instead of this, I wanna try like an olive oil sauce. Okay, I'm gonna print this and we're gonna try this. So, here's what I got out today. I've got some fresh basil, some fresh spinach. I'm gonna chop this up small. Chicken stock, parm, chives, salmon. The other thing I wanted to try is adding in some red peppers. These are fire roasted. You can get these at Trader Joe's. This is really good. Um, if you're doing like a Mediterranean style dish, these are great in salads. There's also some really good sauces you can make like almost like a bruschetta that you can put on top of a baguette. And then I'm gonna use, um, I, it needs one large onion, but I can only find two little ones and some garlic. Then I'll be using smoked paprika. So these are the same seasonings. 21 Salute is like basically like an Italian seasoning. And then I love this, I don't know if you guys have tried this, but it's got this like smoky, spicy, garlicky flavor that I'm gonna actually add into this dish too. I think what I'm gonna do is kind of simmer everything down, cook this in a different pot, get it nice and crunchy, and then slide it in with the fresh herbs and try to make it kind of like a light Mediterranean style. But we're gonna see how it turns out. If it's good, it will make it on the blog <laughs> with my other dishes. If not, say lovey. So we're gonna do that, and then tonight I've got a list of some things I need to get done. I don't know where my to-do list is, but um, I definitely have some laundry that I need to finish up. I wanna get the kids' backpacks unpacked, ready to go for the next morning. I also need to get their lunches prepped as well. I am gonna be kinda of just taking you guys along for a night uh, routine that I do. It's Monday, so I think we should probably get cooking. All right, guys, let's get started.
So while I'm chopping up all of the ingredients I'm gonna need for tonight's recipe, I wanted to go over kind of what the day was like prior to filming. So Mondays typically are a pretty smooth day for us. We get the kids up early in the morning, get them off to school. The biggest part of Monday, honestly for me, is just getting all of their work lined up for the week. So if there's projects due, book reports, whatever, I wanna make sure that I've got it all on my radar so it doesn't fall behind. I have two kids that will totally do all their homework without even being asked and I have two kids I constantly have to chase to get their stuff done so I'll share a little bit later in this video how I set up all their work and how I keep it in a space where I have it my husband has it or anyone helping us with the kids during the week can absolutely pick it up at any time and make sure that they stay on track So during the school week, my husband and I share pretty much all of the responsibilities. We've split them in half. He does mornings, I do nights. We both work full time, but this seems to work really well for us. So every morning, my husband will get the kids up. He will get them dressed. I like to do lunches a lot of times because I love doing fun bento boxes. If you follow me on Instagram, you see those all the time. But once he has all the kids fed and shoes on and backpacks filled and ready to go, he will take them to school on his way up to work. What I do love is I take off every single day at 2.30 to 4.30 to take care of the kids. I pick them up from school, bring them home, start their homework, and I typically will have my computer open right next to them so that I can work alongside them if they need help with their homework. This allows us to split the workload, but also continue to kind of work together with the kids. By the time my husband gets home, it's usually about the time I am starting dinner. One little hack I like to use just to help me stay on schedule is I put timers on my phone that go off every single day around certain times. One that goes off every day at the same time when I need to pick the kids up from school. It's usually when I need to leave, so it's about 30 minutes before pickup. And I also have one that goes off every day at 5.30 that just reminds me it's time to start dinner. If you guys are looking for something that's a little easy just so you're not getting behind in schedule or stressed out, that's always worked well for me. So tonight I decided to do a fun salmon dish. My kids love salmon. I don't know how we got so lucky, but they all love salmon. So I'm gonna be doing a kind of spicy rub on my husband and my salmon while I'll do just a regular Italian seasoning for the kids. I will link this recipe down below. As you saw, I already uploaded it to my website. So if you're over there, you already saw it, but if not, head over and download it. This is about a 25 minute recipe and really simple to make. I'll be using one cast iron skillet. I'll be heating up about two tablespoons of olive oil. Once your pan is pretty warm, go ahead and add the salmon flesh side down. Cook that for about five minutes on a medium heat or until it's nice and crunchy. Flip it over, get the skin crunchy, and put it aside. A good way to tell if your salmon is nice and crunchy and ready is just give it a good shake on top and if it pops off the pan, it's ready to be flipped. Otherwise, if it sticks, it's not fully cooked. I can try if you let me with a So once your salmon is all cooked, go ahead and add a little bit of butter. I'm using about two tablespoons of butter to the same pan where our salmon was. And I'm gonna be adding in the onions. I used one whole onion and about four to six cloves of garlic. You guys know I love garlic, so I did six, but you can use however much you'd like. And let that cook down till it is nice and fragrant and translucent. It's about two minutes, maybe three minutes. Once that's done, I'm going to add in my tomatoes. A lot of recipes I've seen out there add all kinds of stuff all at once. I actually like to do it different. I like to cook down my tomatoes a little bit longer than I would say my basil or the roasted uh, bell peppers I'm gonna be adding in here. 
Since the roasted bell peppers have already been cooked, I wanna add them very last, that way you don't, they don't get too smushy. And I'm gonna add my basil in at the end as well, just because I still like it to stay nice and green and delicious and not get too cooked down, because the flavor is so beautiful. So once you have the tomatoes all cooked, we're gonna add our spinach. I like to just roughly chop this up and I'm gonna throw it on top and naturally let it wilt down. I'm gonna add a little bit of chicken stock to this so that some of the steam will rise up and naturally melt down the spinach and makes it really, really delicious while still keeping that green bright flavor. While that is steaming, I'm going to finish my mashed potatoes. You can put anything with this recipe. You could do pasta or just put it on a bed of salad. A kale salad would also be super delicious with this meal, but the kids wanted mashed potatoes and why not? They're super delicious. I like to add about two to three tablespoons of butter and some half and half and just whip that up. When it's finely whipped up, I like to add some Parmesan cheese and set that aside. We'll serve that right before we serve dinner. Once the spinach has fully wilted, go ahead and add your basil. We're gonna chop up all of those beautiful bell peppers. I found mine at Trader Joe's, but you can also make yours. I think I have a recipe for how to make those on my channel, but they're pretty easy. And then we are gonna just slowly cook out all of that chicken stock. This takes about five minutes, but as you can see, it's steaming away, which means we are losing all of that moisture and we're gonna cook this down. Once we get the salmon put back into the skillet, I like to actually add a little olive oil to bring back some moisture to the dish before serving. So when it comes time for dinner, the kids will always put out all the napkins, forks, knives, all the things we need, water, glasses, and whatnot. I like to plate everything at once since we are going to have a different dish. The kids are going to have basically an abbreviated version of our dinner. I like to get everything put out at once. I really love eating together as a family. We have kind of a fun tradition where everybody picks something special about their day and we pass around something silly that our five-year-old usually picks out which is always really interesting to see what that's gonna be. But I really find that that's kind of the core of keeping the family together is always having open lines of communication and having dinner together. So to finish my husband and my dish, I am going to just return the salmon to my skillet, top it with some of, this, some of our delicious vegetables, and I'm gonna put some olive oil on there. For the kids, I'm just gonna put their salmon on here. And I kind of thought that cucumbers would be a good side dish for this, they're nice and light and they go well with salmon. So I'm gonna just add some little cucumbers on here. I like the English ones, the kids like them too. And I'm also gonna be adding a little bit of salt to that. But once I have all of that done, the kids will come in, help me set the table, and we will eat as a family. Once we're done, I'll meet you back here in the kitchen and we'll continue our night routine.
So once dinner is over, I like to wrap up any leftovers. This is actually delicious in an omelet if you guys are looking for ideas. We also use this with some ground beef in a pasta with some Parmesan cheese and just simple butter sauce was also super good. Uh, while I'm doing that, the kids all clean their own plates. They bring in all the plates and things and line them up. I typically like to do the dishes that way. I don't get any food in there and it's just a lot easier for me to do it. So now that they're done with that, I'll head over to the sink and get the dishes in the sink. I trade this off with my husband every other night. So this particular night, he is finishing up any extra homework, especially with our son who is in a higher grade than the little ones. His homework is pretty intense. So my husband is helping him with that while I ask the little kids to bring in their lunch boxes. One thing I like to do the night before every single school day is I like to set out everything I need for the morning. So that means their lunches, the bento boxes, whatever they need. I let them pick their snacks each day. I find that if I let them pick their snacks each day, they're more inclined to eat it than if I pick it out. But I always pick out their main because I want them to eat something healthy. But I'm going to get all of that done. Another thing I will show you is how I season my cast iron skillet every time I cook with it, especially if you're going to cook with something like salmon and you don't want that kind of fish flavor on it. A really great thing to do is to clean it and then season it, but don't let it dry out on the counter or it will get rusty. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules. Good on the weekends. I'll be in fools drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. We were just broken. So now that I have the dishes done, I'm going to season my cast iron skillet. This is pretty easy. All you need to do is put it on the stove, get it hot but not super hot, and then just put a little olive oil in there. I like to kind of massage the olive oil into the cast iron skillet and then I let it sit there on a medium low heat for about 10 minutes until it feels pretty warm. And then as soon as you start to see it smoking a little, that's when it's done. Go ahead and pull it off, let it come to room temperature, and then put it back in the drawer. I'm gonna go ahead and clean all the surfaces and then I wanna kind of get everything set for the next morning. Another thing I do every single night before I go to bed is set out everything the kids need for breakfast the next day. That way if somebody gets up early or wants to eat something, first thing when they wake up and I'm still either getting ready or I've already left for work and my husband's trying to get one of the little kids ready, they can absolutely self-serve downstairs. This really helps us to be able to spread the workload among the kids who can take care of themselves in the morning and help us focus on the little ones who need a little extra TLC. So now that the kitchen is nice and clean and everything is put away, I like to get the kids tea started. We have a sleepy time tea pretty much every night. I don't know why, we've done this forever. And I used to have tea when I was a little kid. I will um, put, I'll show you the actual tea we use, but it's called sleepy time tea. It's by Celestial Seasonings. And I just love this. It really helps everybody wind down. Because we are a family of six, our house is kind of always running on high energy and I'm always looking for great things to wind down at the end of the day. I also sometimes put a diffuser with lavender in it, but honestly, this tea really does help everyone calm down at the end of the day. So before I go into the dining room and kind of get all the backpacks set, I like to get the tea started. That way I can let it sit out for 20 minutes before I bring it upstairs. I'm gonna get a quick rotation of laundry going. I'm constantly just trying to keep laundry rotated in our house between six beds, six morning outfits, school outfits, night outfits, all the things. I'm just constantly in a state of laundry rotation. So I'm gonna do that before we head into the dining room. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. 
about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions we'll get away this is what we waited for oh. take my hand we'll make it somehow we can't miss out So while the kids are upstairs getting their jammies on, I'm going to start to go through all their homework. This is another great hack I like to use every single Monday. I will lay out all the kids' homeworks. I will see what they need to do. I love that their teachers send home an entire Monday checklist of all the things that will be coming up for that week. What I also do, and you guys have seen this a lot on my channel, I'll use those little plastic folders to slide these into. I also put their spelling words in there. So while I am cooking, a lot of times the kids will sit at the island. I will have their spelling words right next to me and I'll be reading them off while I'm cooking. That way I don't get a bunch of food splattered on it and I can also know where everything is in one place. This really helps me stay focused and when the kids say, I don't have any homework, I can say, uh, yeah, you do. <laughs> So after I get all the backpacks and their shoes set out for the next day, the other really important thing I like to do is lay out all of their lunch pails and the things I need for the morning. The morning obviously is a really hectic and stressful time for all of us, so I find that if I lay everything out the night before, it creates a much calmer way to start the day, much like I like to end each day with our kids nice and calm and in a loving environment, I like to start the day off as well. The worst thing is when it's really stressful the kids don't know where their shoes are or their sweaters or the things they need for school and everyone's yelling and we're late and it's frantic so I try what I can do as a mom to set up the morning to be stress-free as possible so the kids start the day with a positive attitude and in a good headspace I had to stop real quick and say hi to Enzo. If you guys are new to my channel, this is one of our cats, Enzo, and she just loves YouTube, so definitely say hi to her in the comments down below. But let's take our tea upstairs and get the kids cozy in my bed. We have been having this really funny tradition lately where we have been watching reruns of Mr. Rogers. I don't know why. I don't know why we got stuck on this, but around Christmas time, we started watching it. We started showing it to our five-year-old and now all the kids love it. And it's kind of become a fun thing we do every night. If you guys are on my Instagram, you see lots of pictures of that, but it has been something we've been loving. And again, it's just really calm. If you guys are looking for a good movie watch the documentary of mr rogers it's amazing and it really did kind of spark our interest of bringing that back into the family but i'm going to get the tea out and then we're going to wrap up this evening i can try if you let me with our lives i am pleading who am i without stories that aren't mine so now that our show is over and I've tucked all the kids in and given them kisses, Enzo says goodnight to each of you. I like to go through the house and just say goodnight to all the kittens. We have three, two, actually they're all rescues. I don't know who rescued who, but we love all of them. And I just like to make sure they're cozy and they have everything they need before I head upstairs. But I wanted to say goodnight to you all and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If it gave you any kind of mom inspiration or or just kind of help you understand that every single mom has a frantic night and we are all busy but it's super important that you try to find joy in each part of this season of your life because it goes by super fast okay guys i'll see you in the next video bye